Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, hi, I am Candice, or Candyware, and generally I like to take you guys on my art adventures, working full-time in the animation industry or working on my part-time gig doing lots of art and stickers, but with the advent of having a daughter uh, two months ago, if you can believe it, I thought I would come to you guys and talk about some of the things that helped me get through the first month of postpartum. Also, I hope you like this rainbow funness. I'm coming to you from my daughter's room um, and I have a holographic decal on her window which brings in so much fun light all over her room as you can see. Uh, I thought it would be enjoyable. Um, Hopefully it's not distracting, but without further ado, let's get right on to it. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about, we're going to need something like adult diapies because holy guacamole, things are crazy right after you give birth. So I still actually have one of these still um, kicking in my house. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Um, maybe I'll see if one of my family members that's almost due will like something like this but for the first three weeks i pretty much needed these by the end it was more of a uh more of spotting so you could just use a regular pad or what you could do with these to to get them to last longer um is add in a regular pad is what my midwives had suggested so add in either of these and just switch out these instead of constantly throwing these out uh, is a really great option if you want to try and have them last longer another thing that was great for birth and after birth is a heat pad this has been so beneficial for laboring this was great mind you again my labor was intense and that was because my baby was facing the wrong way so i found out that pretty much you you're gonna have uh an even harder labor which i didn't know so having a heat pad is great not only for your tummy when all of your organs and your uterus your uterus are going back into the way that they were before but it also really helps with your breasts when you're breastfeeding if you're new to breastfeeding and they're hurting or if you want to heat them up before you pump having a heat pad is great for that now going into postpartum and with all of your organs moving around i think that's one thing and i've said this in my birth video and if you haven't seen that please definitely go check that out if you're interested but one thing that i noticed people don't really touch upon well enough is they say your organs and everything else are going back to the way that they were so you end up having contractions or that that's pretty much what they say but for me it was so painful and i mean obviously talk to your hospital talk to your primary caregiver before you do this and i definitely touched base with my midwives before i did this but i in tandem took aspirin and advil or tylenol and advil at the same time to help with the pain because for the first week and a half two weeks it was pretty unbearable for me so i pretty much used as much medicine as I could possibly use um, and I found at nighttime it was even more so a hurt more so you know obviously see how you do but I definitely was in a lot of pain postpartum another thing is nipple bl blubber <laughs> nipple butter has been really really helpful i've also been slathering the ma or earth mama nipple butter on my baby's head and her face when she had baby acne as well as she ended up having some eczema and cradle cap she still has a bit of cradle cap so using some nipple butter or coconut oil things like that are really really great to use Another thing that is great is having snacks by your bed because you're going to get real hungry and also thirsty. So having like a big sippy cup of some sort is also really beneficial. But having something like nuts 
you know, granola bars, trail mix, stuff like that is really great to have on hand when you are breastfeeding and stuff like that. Another great thing is a sitz bath. This was super helpful and now I use this at nighttime. Add in some water and wash off my baby's head with a brush as well as some baby shampoo to help with the cradle cap. But this guy has been super beneficial. This guy can also fold up, which is super fantastic. So, you know, it's nice and easy to store away. And in saying that with the, with you know, the sits bath, either you can use Epsom salts or even the the same brand of Earth Mama also makes a sits bath. It pretty much looks like a, a, a big tea bag, <laughs> a rectangle tea bag, and you just put that in your sits bath, and that was super helpful. Um, as you guys know, if you watched my other video, I had a, not only did I have an episiotomy, but it got infected, so because of that, I needed to do a lot of sits baths. I have just finished doing sits bath, and I am two months postpartum, so that is something to keep in mind. Another thing that was super helpful when I was going to the washroom and you know wiping yourself down there, the, the two, some of the best things I had were the flushable wipes. So I still don't really feel comfortable flushing these down the toilet, so I definitely didn't. I just put them in the garbage can to each their own. If you do or don't want to use this, this is just what helped me feel better, especially with the amount of bleeding that you have after postpartum. And then also this herbal prenatal spray was also super awesome and helpful. I also really liked it because it's a spray bottle, and then once I ran out of the herbal spray that was in here, I just topped it up with some witch hazel because it's just so easy to just have something that you spray. One of my girlfriends also had some leftover tucks. Everyone swears by this stuff. You can just put this, lay it on the bottom of your pad and you can make padsicles and things like that. I didn't really like the idea of anything cold being down there because I found that it just didn't feel comfortable to me. So having the whole Freedom Mom pack was actually not so helpful for me. I found it to be a huge waste of money personally. And the more cold things you put down there, and this is just what I've heard, I mean, when you think about it, how is it going to heal if you just constantly put something frozen down there? If you need it at the very beginning because you're super in pain, definitely. But keep in mind, it's going to prolong how long it's going to take you to heal. The one thing I did like from the Frida Mom brand is the Perry bottle. I have literally been using this for two months. I can finally say goodbye to this and I don't need to use it anymore. But again, this is something that was definitely super ha helpful. So whatever type of Perry bottle you have, definitely use that because it will help with the healing process. And one thing that I found super helpful while nursing, while trying to just be comfortable and relaxing since my doctor told me I needed to air out down there to help with promoting the healing of my vulva and everything else is, and as you can see, the stains are real on these things, um, but having nighties that are, have buttons on them was super, super helpful. I still like using these at nighttime, but just having something that you can just have on and wander around the house and you don't really worry about how you look or what you're wearing, this has definitely been super, super helpful for me. But I hope this was helpful. I definitely wish I found more videos like this that were really honest about it. Uh, especially being a first-time mom, I know things generally get easier after you have more kids, but this is what made me feel better I, just bare bones things that I needed to do on a daily basis to keep clean, keep cozy, you know, and try and recover because the biggest thing is just be kind to yourself and whatever you need to do, just do it. Like I just loved me my Netflix and just cuddling my baby in the first couple of weeks of postpartum. So definitely take some time for yourself and 
do what you need to do to feel good. So I hope this video was helpful. There are going to be other videos coming that have to do with breastfeeding and tongue and lip ties and things like that because I've had to deal with these things with my baby. So I hope you guys will stick around and hit that follow, subscribe button. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next video. Goodbye!